Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. You guys are acting like this is something new in the Flankster Cave, selling statues to fund newer ones. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. It's nothing new. But, so first off, we're not getting the Joker bust. Uh, that was just a random idea because I thought it looked really cool. I think aesthetically, symmetrically, it looked the best. However, I did watch the movie again. I still rate it about a 7 out of 10. And I hear the second one's going to be a musical. And I, I don't really dig musicals too much. But I do have an idea of how we can make this work all by sacrificing two statues. These two. Now keep in mind, these are technically my two favorite of the entire good guideline. Dark Side is the best. I like these two the most. However, we got this, which is a thousand times better than that. Tactical suit is not as good as this guy, and I would prefer to probably keep him. However, he is worth a lot more. And for this plan to be executed, he must go, and we keep tactical. Also, tactical goes better with that Batman uh, bust, like far better in my opinion, uh, because the, you know they match perfectly. And I still like the tactical quite a bit. Tactical also technically scales better with the entire league. So we sacrifice these two and, let, and let, hear me out on what's going to, you know, what can happen in this scenario, which is a high likelihood. So these girls, this girl display is going to be moved. And this is going to be the one third wall because these are like thinner garage shelves. All the fat ones are going to be busting one thirds. This is kind of like separated. So we're going to actually move Dark Side here. Cyborg, Black Adam, Flash, Steppenwolf. Scoot Aquaman to the right and do Shazam underneath. And that is done. And here's an image of how that would look. So, you know, I should be able to fit everything there. You know, Black Adam does, isn't super wide. I can definitely fit Shazam underneath with Aquaman. You know, I've done him down low before, and I think this would work really good. It's not like a complete league per se, but it's a lot of the one-thirds, and I think it would look really good. So that is step one, because we need to clear out the big wall. Uh, step two is we're going to relocate Wonder Woman on horse right here, like the Wonder Woman display. Putting Wonder Woman on horse in the corner, angled this way. Uh, with Infinity Studios Wonder Woman bust. And then we'll likely be doing two Wonder Woman posters. Uh, the really nice art print here and the big poster one right there. You know, and then have her props next to it. Uh, but that would be like a dedicated Wonder Woman corner. And then right here in the middle is where I would do the Aquaman uh, bust. And one third with, you know probably the props I have. So that's how that would look. I do Aquaman purely because A, he's the biggest bust. Uh, you know, and you'd want the biggest in the middle. And I think that would look really good. You know, so in reality, it would go Batman, Aquaman, Superman, Wonder Woman. The four, you know, you know, m truly four main people of DC, in my opinion. You know, after the Trinity, I would say it's Aquaman. So we would have it that way, doing this Aquaman... Right there with that poster I showed you, which I think matches good. And then the giant Aquaman bust and probably throw that prop like right there and probably do a Batman prop there. You know, maybe I could hang that batter ring or something. But I think that would look really good and it, you know, allow Aquaman in the whole idea is we want Aquaman bust and I'm going to show you the next step. So this would be dedicated Wonder Woman and then these three garage shelves would be dedicated for the girls because what I want and what I've always wanted was a dedicated infinity and J and D girl display. And I think this is the way to do it. This is my longest shelf in, you know, in this freaking room, you know, it's three big garage shelves plus a little one. And this can work. Let me show you how. So basically, you do Wonder Woman horse with that poster. And Inf Infinity Wonder Woman. Now, Mera is not super wide, and the J and Ds are not super, you know, they don't take up a lot of space, honestly. So I could definitely fit the two J and Ds in one bust on one garage shelf. 
On the other, I could do Harley and two J and Ds. You know, so again, one Infinity Bus, two J and Ds on one big garage shelf. On the final single cubes garage shelf could be Catwoman bust. You know, so in essence, Catwoman would still be like a continuation of this, just like that. And then this would be the dedicated girl wall with all four Infinity Bus, all four JNDs. We still got Wonder Woman Horse who matches this line. You know, having, and I think it flows really good because this would be the JND girl wall, JND Infinity girl wall, transitioning into the four main Prime One, one thirds, and Infinity Bus, transitioning into just all the DC one thirds, and then into the Dark Knight Rises, which would flow good here. So. I really like this idea, you know, because I've always wanted to put my four girls together and this could work because right now when I see that, that is insanely good. But there's also a lot of extra space right here. Like realistically, I could have these bases basically touching. There's a lot of extra space here, over there, right there, there, a ton of space. It's like very spacious. I can easily fit another J&D right there if I wanted to. However, I would love to have all four girls, all four JNDs together. I think that would be truly amazing. And so this is what I think I'm going to be considering. I want to try first Catwoman bust over there. And real, I mean, realistically, move this entire display right there. So just move to Dark Side and Shazam. Put the girls there. As long as that could fit. I'm a thousand percent sure I could fit Mara Bust, Jane D. Mara, Jane D. Wonder Woman there. And if you think about it as well, me getting Jane D. Wonder Woman is kind of a replacement of this. So the only thing I'm truly losing is a Batman in this scenario to allow this display to work. Gizzy's crying. Uh, so, yeah, I think this is a solid idea. I've shown a few of my buddies. They all love it. You know, I'm realistically only losing one statue, but gaining a lot in this scenario. I mean, the only thing I, I think I'm truly kind of losing is the true Trinity wall, like, in a row. I mean, technically, I could put Batman here and then Aquaman in the corner, and that would still be the Trinity just like this. Uh, however, I think doing Aquaman in the mixed is fine. And don't get me wrong, I really do love this whole one-third line you know especially when we add steppenwolf black adam it's absolutely amazing without a doubt you know having one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one thirds in a row is super epic but ultimately sacrificing technically one statue kind of you know because we're going to get j and d to more or less replace that and we get the aquaman bust and three really cool displays i think it's worth it so, yeah, definitely scrap the idea of the Joker bus. I still honestly would want it, uh, but space money, uh, you know, I think those two is worth it for Aquaman bust and then getting the dedicated girls display, which I think would look gorgeous, you know, and it wouldn't be too difficult actually to move Wonder Woman horse. I literally could just kind of drag her, uh, you know, just remove the sword and that's it. And I could move her. Superman bust, easy to move. All that's easy to move. Now, so it's not honestly too difficult to do all these movings. And I wouldn't have to relocate too much on the poster. And obviously this wall would. You know, I would want a poster like this behind each of the girls. You know, the Wonder Woman, a Catwoman, a Harley, and a Mara. But I am highly, highly considering this. I already have a buyer for Wonder Woman and Batman. So... Yeah, this is definitely a high probability that we're going to get the Aquaman. I've already located an Aquaman bust for the price I think he's worth. And so we're definitely, you know, probably going to do this plan. So, the honestly, the biggest problem is finding the boxes for those two. I have no idea where they're at. I would have to search for hours. That's the only problem. Uh, outside of that, it's not a huge deal. Anyways, folks, that is it. I need to get back to Giz. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, we should be getting some statues this week. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.